Dad hoping to score a full house and be top of the shop, a night one hosts newlyweds Claire and Rick. Rick and I got married seven weeks ago um, in Sorrento in Italy. Thanks for the invite. I am definitely the most talkative. Cool girl. There you go. <laughs> Did you not get a word in? Well, I was waiting to talk and then you went straight off. You snooze, you lose. So I'm definitely in charge of the kitchen because Claire just cannot do anything really. She can't cook. We'd probably starve to death if it was down to Claire. So what's the plan for tonight? Rick loves cooking. I love socialising. We both love Italy. We do, yeah. We and do. our night is about bringing those things together to create memories that will last a lifetime. Memory! <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Time to get cooking. So, which one do we press? Is it this one? The on button. That one? Yeah. It's going to be a long day. Rick is definitely the cook in our household. If it was up to me, we'd have fish finger sandwiches. They're really good, though. If you say so. Beans on toast, a little bit of cheese on. Jobs are good and... Good job, Rick's head chef today, then. He's kicking off their Italian menu with the main, Rick's lasagna. Because I normally make my own lasagna and, and normally everybody enjoys it, I think it'd be quite something if they could make that quite special for me to be able to enjoy it. It's going to have to be good, isn't it? I think so, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Do you fancy a game of dirt? OK. Meet lasagna connoisseur and senior nurse practitioner Donna and her partner, engineering manager Simon. We're quite a fun couple. I think we bounce off each other quite well, don't we, most of the time? Cheers. Yeah, sometimes. When we argue, <laughs> we argue very well. <laughs> that could be quite entertaining. See, I'm always right and she thinks she's right, but I have to let her think she's right then at the end. <laughs> no, sorry, you've lost me there. I need a solid example. You're really annoying with the sock drawer. You never, ever pair your socks up. You'll just throw everything in the cupboards and just leave them until you need them for ironing. No, as soon as you take it out of the cupboard, you have to re-iron it. So what's the point in <laughs> ironing it? Put it in the cupboard, take it out and re-iron it, don't <laughs> Oh, the agonies of the wardrobe! I can take no more! Back with the hosts, chopped onions join some sizzling pancetta. It's starting to smell good, isn't it? Mm, I don't really like onions, so no. Normally, I would be sat on the sofa, watching telly, reading a book... Doing naff all! It's so very, very different for me today. Claire's education continues as carrots go into the mix, along with garlic and mince. Lots of garlic. Oh, yeah. Now you need to mash that up. That's it, mash it! Here we go. What are we doing now? We're rolling now. Are we? Yes. Rick adds a splash of red wine. Mm, like this. That is my dance, isn't it? Finally, fresh herbs, chopped tomatoes and Worcestershire sauce are plonked into the pot. With the ragu prepped, Rick assembles his lasagna, layering it up with pasta sheets and bechamel sauce. These are the kind of moments I live for in the kitchen. Being alone with cheese. We're finally getting it finished. Oh, I see. Happy with that? Looking good. And voila, or echo, as the Italians say. Second on the cooking agenda, it's the starter, Arancini. Arancini, is it Italian? It's Arancini Probably a Italian? stuffed mushroom, is it? <laughs> is it a stuffed mushroom? <laughs> no, it isn't. Come on, Rick, enlighten us. It's mm. a traditional, like, street food in Italy, so I think um, we just want to bring it to a dinner table um, and make it, make it a little bit nicer. Arancini. 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 Never heard of it. It's risotto balls. Our final couple are police dog handler Blaine and his girlfriend, police officer Laura. Laura describes us as little and large. Why is that then? Oh, yes, now I see it. <laughs> you don't see many uh, tall girls going out with short people, do you? But we won't change anything now, would we? Well. Blaine is amazing. He is so funny. Literally, everybody cracks up at his jokes everywhere we go. Um, he's so kind, dead thoughtful, and that is just, he's quite romantic. I won't say too many good things, because his head will go massive. <laughs> Might even things up a bit. Hopefully, one day, we'll get married. Hopefully, when I get a ring on my finger. And I've told him when we get married, he's going to have to wear Cuban heels, because I can't cope with the height difference on the photos. <laughs> it's going to have to be some sort of alteration or something. Or stilts. Stilts, yeah. Back in the kitchen. Show me how the chefs do it. I really like this. Ooh, like a seesaw. No, like a knife. Hey, that is good, Rick. I like the feel of them, and I like the sensation of chopping them. It's the simple things. Rice time. 
White wine followed by stock is ladled into the rice. Go. Don't you ever get bored of cooking me? Because I feel like I've got a blister coming already. Oh, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. Cure is a taskmaster. Chopped mushrooms join the risotto pot along with... Cheese. 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 And black pepper. Rick constructs the arancini and his keen apprentice pops them into gel. Thank you, Chef. They'll be deep fried later. <laughs>